What up guys? I'm gonna do a quick video right now, early in the day. Um, just cause I'm tired as hell. Uh, I woke up early and uh, did a couple knives. And uh, yeah, I'm just beat. You know, I work every single day. Uh, basically from like about 6 or 7 a.m. till 11 or 12 at night, sometimes later. So, you know, I just figured I'd do some stuff and I know some people have problem with me taking any time to myself, but you know what? I do my best, guys. And I love my job, but you know, sometimes I need to rest. But, um, so I got some two pretty sweet ones actually banged out today. Um, right here you see, uh, this is the strider that uh, Neptune got refurbished. See, I put a nice uh, stone wash and everything there. Sorry, it's a little, a little tight. Looking good. It's a lot better than it did before. Um, one thing you gotta, write, you gotta know is when you're sandblasting stuff, make sure you don't drop any of the screws in the sand because then you got hours of searching. So I still gotta do that. I dropped one of these guys in there. So I gotta look for it, which I'm not looking forward to. But uh, Neptune or anybody, not sure how to fix that. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's something to do with up here, but it doesn't quite contact that. It's pretty worn out on the inside. I might carbonize it, see if that does anything to help it. You see the stone wash, sandblasted the uh, pivot there. I forgot to do the bottom of it. I did the top of it, but I forgot the bottom of, it, of the one, but I did this guy. That guy, that guy is not, that guy was uh, with the uh, one I dropped, I dropped this one too, but I found this one right away, but uh, the other one, yeah, I still got to look for it, that's that, and uh, next up, um, this was something I've been talking about doing for a long time, making my own layer G10, and I did it, and I would not recommend it, it is not fun, uh, it was very messy, it took a very long time, and it turned out cool, but uh, wasn't fun, but I do need to do it thinner layers, I think, next time, but I think it looks pretty sweet. So this is a USN Pride here, guys. So you got a CQC7 uh, waved Emerson, uh, nice and sandblasted, and, be, and uh, you know, stone washed. And you got the Toxic and Black Tiger Stripe, first time. We wanted to do it for a long time, and uh, finally did it. I believe Alpha Knife Supply will be carrying this color soon, I hope, so I'm going to have to have to do this again. Um, we see it's uh, about five layers, um, three green and two black, that was a pain in the ass, but it turned out pretty sweet. Yeah, blade's nice and centered, this thing looked like shit when I got it, sure, uh, but you know, the lock up is, you know, where it was. I mean, I try my best to make it a little better. I mean, it's not too far over or anything like that, so, and there's no blade play or anything. But, uh, you know, older Emersons tend to, you know, have some lock bars that travel a little bit. But Toxic Green looks pretty sweet. And luckily I got some daylight coming in here, so you can get a good look at the color. Pretty sweet. And Will, this is for your brother, I think. And uh, yeah, surprise it worked out. That looks pretty sweet. It's definitely very USN. Kept the pocket clip black, uh, just because it fits it. And the hardware is black too. And I think I'm gonna put a black uh, thumb screw, thumb stud there. I just think it'll tie it together a little nicer. Maybe the green, maybe black with a really thin piece of green on top of it. But that's for a day when I'm not so damn tired. Surprised I even got this done. And next up we got a Boker Haddock by the man himself, Jens Anzo. And a uh, dude who owns this said, make me the sweetest haddock on the internet. And in my opinion, I say it is. I mean, you may want something crazy, but I think this is pretty damn sweet. So. No glow stuff, just perfectly sexy. 
So you got, I redid the blade. Um, I guess I got the stone wash down to perfectly the same as it, so I'm gonna have to, if you wanted something different than this, man, I guess I'll do a sandblast on it so it'll look nicer, just nice and uniform. Just let me know. But uh, basically it turned out the same. Uh, you know, sandblasted all the finish off of it and re-stone washed it, it looks the same as the uh, original. But then, you got your tie frame lock. But, with the last bit left, it's more of the pinstriping. That was the last bit I had. And I've had a, this is no longer a reptilian pattern, I'm going to call this a diamond pattern. Uh, it's just small diamonds. That's pretty cool actually. Just keep playing with this pattern, it just keeps changing. But with this one I had to put the black liners there. Uh, just because I didn't trust this stuff on its own, so... I mean, there's no... I mean, the original screw, one has flex to it, this one doesn't, but I wouldn't be sitting there, you know, trying to break it. I don't think it will. But, you know, it's just a bunch of pieces that are really strongly epoxied together. Probably gonna carbonize the lock bar on this one, too. I'll probably carbonize every frame lock I got here. For some reason, it's locking up tight all of a sudden. Yeah, it locks up nice and early. A lot better than it was when I first got it. So this damn stop pin, it's got to be off slightly. It's got to be like on a slight angle like that. Otherwise, it doesn't work correctly. So if you get a haddock and it's uh, perfectly straight across and there's blade play or something, that's the problem. Sexy as shit. Definitely fits this knife perfectly. I'm pretty sure this would fit any knife perfectly. See a nice centering. It's got that dangerous choil there. That's good for. Yes, it makes that sound effect when you do that. But I am loving, loving this shit. These two are going the opposite direction. Get that guy. Made the uh, cutout on this one a lot bigger. Right here. That was a part of a mistake I made on there. But uh, there will be a lot extra, not a lot, but a little bit extra to do the my own tiger striping because it was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, it'd probably be easier if I actually lined the pieces up correctly instead of just kind of chucking them in a friggin' bin with a wad of glue. You know, epoxy stuff, so. There you go. It's a sweet pattern. Love it. It's nice and rounded, give more of a feel, a, good, a better feel of this knife because it's you know it's kind of square. But uh, the original scales on this thing are kind of interesting. These are just black. I don't know why, but these are like like a black and gray tiger stripe, almost micarta looking. It's pretty cool. It's like pre-pimped. And by the way, guys, you've done your original scales from Anzos. And you have something like this going here. There is no way I can measure that and get it right without putting that little tiny hole there. I can fill it in and make it look fine, but really don't notice it. So if you give a shit, I mean, I will fill it, but... Anywho, who cares? This, this scale looks so much better anyway. That's that cool shit at the top there. Just the way it just kind of... But uh, 
uh, need to put a lanyard hole right there. Kind of looks good without it, but you know, you don't really need it on this side. Going through this whole thing, it's kind of weird, but you know. That's the sexy haddock there. Nice early lockup. It's nice and solid too. I thought it wouldn't be, but it really is. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna play Battlefield Bad Company or Battlefield 3 beta later.